What's up guys, it's Danny, back with another video, and uh, let me just make sure my microphone is on the right thing before we go further here. It is, good, alright. Using OBS uh, Studio, Classic, whatever it is, and not slobs. I use a different OBS when I do these face cam videos uh, straight from the PC, just right to YouTube. However, I do actually export these videos into Final Cut Pro, do a light bit of editing, and then go to YouTube because I like transitions and stuff like that. So with that being said, today's video is about the Tier Maker website, but specific, specifically, if I could say that word right, the Overwatch Tier List Maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rank the Overwatch heroes. Uh, the, your list will probably be different from mine. It's just what I like, what I don't like about each hero, and I'll explain with each ranking I do. So let me switch to... I believe it's this yes this camera so here we go we've got a list here of heroes all the heroes I think okay I don't see Baptiste but I see everybody else it looks like so I guess we'll just leave him out he's too new to be really ranked I think anyway so uh, yeah let's just get started so we are gonna start with Anna now if you watch me play overwatch which a lot of you do you know I don't care for Anna. I think she's kind of a pointless hero. I think she's pretty useless. I've played her a few times. She doesn't do a lot of damage. I think she's more of a, uh, a healer, maybe. I don't know. She's kind of boring, and I hardly ever see anybody get play the game with her. And that's just that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. So um, I don't know why they have each hero twice. So maybe I'll use. I think what I'll do is I'll use. I'll go ahead and use these these. Uh, headshots I guess um, so skipping all these let me use these other ones uh, let's go with the next one in the line which is Widowmaker I used to play a lot of Widowmaker back in the day uh, I think she's a pretty good hero uh, not my favorite she is thick you know but takes more than that um, but I like a lot of skins they offer for her so I mean she's a pretty good hero she's she's not one of my favorites but she's she's not bad she's not bad so uh, next we've got Zen Zen goes right here. He's okay. He's hard to play for me anyway. However, when I do have other teammates as Zen, uh, they do seem to heal me pretty well. Uh, he's also hard to fight against on the other team. I die a lot from Zen. But yeah, that's just where I put him. Next up, we've got Brigitte. She's lately become my new main, so she gets S tier. S is the best D Zorst in this uh, sort of list. And uh, the Shield Bash is amazing people say she's broken I don't think she is I think if you just know how to play her or if you know how to play against her you shoot her to death is what you do so because that shield while it bashes it can also be quickly melted so just saying next up we got Symmetra I used to play her a lot back in the day um, I think with her recent buff well it's not really recent anymore but when they buffed her turrets to where they can be deployed wherever it's it's like she's more annoying than ever now so i don't know it's just she's a c rank you know it could be worse uh next we have winston i do not like winston at all i don't like anybody who plays winston i don't like playing winston it's just a big old overgrown monkey in my opinion and i'll just leave it at that i just not a fan we've got uh reinhardt which i think a rank is fair for him he's a really good shield probably the best shield in the game um but, uh, you know, if done right, he can still be melted away. So, next up, Soldier 76. He's your typical DPS. I think he's B rank. You know, just kind of whatever. If you like Call of Duty and you want to play Overwatch, B Soldier, honestly. Uh, and then after that, we got Junkrat, which I'm going to put him in front of Soldier. Junkrat, he's B rank. He's, you know, middle of the list. He's not bad. Um, I feel like when I'm D.Va, I can easily get rid of him so that's kind of why he's there uh, next up we've got Bastion and if you don't want to play the game Harley or if you want to play the game with a little effort you can be Bastion and you'll get definitely get kills just go into turret mode and just have at it you know next up Tracer I've never been a fan of Tracer but she's okay I'll, I'll put it right there she's okay so we'll just leave it at that I don't like how fast you can zoom around. It's really hard to shoot her. I mean, that's kind of the point of Tracer. She's not easy to shoot. It just it pisses me off a lot of times, though. So, And then we've got the gerbil idiot. I, I, 
Okay, Hammond's not an idiot. He's okay. But it's like between C and D. I think I'll leave him at C. I do not like Hammond. And I played as Hammond. I think his when he's in his ball mode or whatever they want to call it, I think it needs to be nerfed, honestly, because he can spin around and around in certain points. And you'll never get the point if he just keeps going around and around and around. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I just, not a fan. Next up, we've got Arissa. She is my favorite defense, honestly. So she gets S tier. Amazing defense. She's got a decent shield. And she can obviously shoot and attack and all the other stuff pretty well. Um, I've melted several teams using her and ranked. So... I mean, maybe just me, but I always see good success with uh, Arissa. Next up, we got Reaper. Reaper's good. I like using Reaper a lot. Actually, he goes to me in front of Reinhardt. Um, shotguns, dual shotguns, constant shooting, you know, reload, shoot, shoot, shoot. You can actually, and then when his ultimate comes in, it just you can get rid of a whole team if you do it right. So, Torbjorn, annoyance. However, his turrets are nice. His ultimate is is killer. It's I, they buffed it. Obviously, they actually gave him a new ultimate. I think it was I think it's a new ultimate. Anyway, he throws a bunch of lava around, and you can die from it. So <laughs> I would say, well, he makes me mad, gets in my nerves. Props, if done right, it can really kill a diva. Uh, then we've got Zarya. Zarya, I don't play that much. In fact, she's D rank. I mean, she's cool. If, for some people, I guess. I do like her little black hole ultimate where she holds you and you can't escape. It's whatever. Sombra's A rank. I used to main Sombra back when I first started playing Overwatch. Um, and her hacks are great. Her ultimate's pretty good if done right. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. May. May's thick. But May's annoying. Her walls are absolutely annoying. She freezes you. Absolutely annoying. She can freeze you in your ult, even more annoying. And then when you go to kill her, she gets in a little ice block thing, preventing you from doing any damage. Very annoying, but have you seen the Rule 34 on May? Because it is nice, and that's why she's not in D rank. She's in C rank because she look good, because she's thick. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we got McCree. McCree, he goes in front of Soldier. Um, I like McCree. I don't use him all the time, but, you know, he's mid-range. Uh, Genji is annoying. Forever D life, you know. Um, good Genjis. Oh, he'll go in front of. You know what? Anna is probably the worst in D, so she goes to the very back. But uh, you know, if, if you can play Genji, then you do it well, and you annoy me to death. You know, that's just how it is. Like, do I even need to say where Diva goes? Y'all know who I mean these two and then defense is usually Arissa but these two need I say more Diva is in my opinion the best hero in the whole game so that's just my opinion Roadhog and let me tell you why before I go to Roadhog Diva can eat just about everybody's ult if done right and what I like is when she does it she comments on it which is amazing I like when McCree says it's high noon and she blocks it she says, I think your clock's off. You know, stuff like that. Uh, or Reaper's ult. I think she says denied or something like that. I forget. But anyway, she comments on everybody's ult that she successfully eats, which is great. So, Roadhog. I don't play Roadhog much. He's okay. Uh, I know if you're D.Va and he successfully pulls you into a hole, that can be annoying. Especially if your boosters are recharging. So, you can die easily. He likes to yank you around a lot. So... Moira. Moira, I've actually gained respect for her as of late. In fact, she was in front of Soldier also. Um, and when she first came out, I hated her. Absolutely hated her. But now, if you get if you have good healers and they're Moira, it can be the best thing. Like my friend Otter, he plays he mains Moira when we play Overwatch. And uh well done. Well done, sir. Hats off to you, my boy. Mercy. Mercy's A rank. I like Mercy a lot. Um, I don't play her as much as I would like to just because I'm not the best healer when it comes to her. However, 
I'm obsessed with uh, with collecting all of her skins, and I think I have just about every one, just like Diva. So, she's um she's always been one of my favorite characters, but one I don't play much, um just because I, I the aesthetics of Mercy, she's beautiful, you know. I think it's a really well designed character. So, Doomfist D, he's horrible. In fact, I'd rather play Anna than Doomfist. Nah, actually, you know what? I don't know about that. They're they're equal. I don't. Know. I'll go back and forth. <laughs> so. I, not a fan of Doofus. Never have been. I feel like he's clunky. Easily able to be killed. But that's just my opinion. Hanzo. I barely ever play Hanzo. I will respect how good of a character he is, though. Uh, good with the arrows and all that stuff. And his, his ultimate the, with the dragons or the wolves or whatever. Hard to escape from. So I, I will respect. I don't play him, but I will respect that move. I really will. Anna. No. Is that Anna? No, Anna's, Anna's kid. Farah is who this is. Farah gets B. Um, I'm not very good Farah. Uh, it's hard for me to stay in the air. I know I have friends like uh, Snoot. My friend Snoot, he's a, he's a Farah main. I know Day plays Farah a little bit. Um, Douglas plays Farah. And uh, all three of them are really good with Farah. But lately, Day is an Anna main. I think Anna is up here too. I'll put her in front of Sombra. And uh, I, I just, I love Anna. And I love Bob too. Uh, Anna is fun to play. Her ultimate's pretty cool. Um, she's also pretty easy to kill, so I like that a lot <laughs> if you're uh, Brigitte. So yeah. And last but not least, Lucio. I hate Lucio. Absolutely hate Lucio. I'd rather play Anna over Lucio. Lucio mains are annoying, they boop you off everything. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of Lucio. <laughs> I just, I'm not. And he's the one who actually got a new skin recently, along with uh, Mercy. And I'm just like, okay. His skins are generic. Um, people zip around on, you know, like in domes or whatever, dome areas in the maps uh, as Lucio, and that's cool and all that. But his biggest annoyance to me is him booping you off the map. You know, and if you don't have your boosters charge, if you're D.Va, then you just die. It's kind of like a Roadhog thing, but I find it just more irritating. I don't know why. I think it's because you don't expect the boop. You can kind of see when Roadhog is about to pull you with his chain. You're about to see, because he does this, and you know, oh, here it comes. But Lucio could be behind you. You wouldn't even know it. You just use your rockets, and he goes, boop. And all of a sudden, you're dead because you can't recharge. Because your, your rockets are still recharging. You're going to die. And that, to me, is beyond annoying. So... Anyway, that's my two cents on that. Very passionate, I know. Um, so, hope you liked this video. Hope you liked my list. If not, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, see you all in the next video. Peace.